Hello Libra, how are you? It's Crystal here. Thank you for returning to my channel. All you newbies that are stopping by, welcome. Please don't be shy to hit that like button, okay? All right, so Libra, what we're doing for you is an energy read between you and them for April 1st through 15th. Finding out what energies surround you um, and whatnot. Hold on, let me see something real quick. I just seen something here. It's not, I guess not. Okay, so what energy surrounds you and your person or the person on your mind? I'm going to get a little read. So let's go ahead and begin. Please don't forget to check out your rising and your um, moon sign and possible things if this does not resonate with you, Libra. All right. Spirits universe thank you what do we have for libra and their person for april 1st through 15th what energy surrounds libra and their person from the first april 1st through 15th thank you spirits. thank you guys all right the higher font the ace of cups in reverse and the empress Hmm. All right, Libra. You know what's funny is that I usually turn all my cards upright at the beginning. So if this came out in reverse, it came out in reverse for a reason. <sighs> all right. So the higher font here is your energy, Libra. So I'm definitely feeling that you're feeling, you know, spiritually led here, um, spiritually confident in your ways. I'm feeling like you're taking a lot of time in um, knowing and having knowledge in things and um, maybe in your own spiritual path is what I'm feeling here. Your person, the Empress, they are in, they are comfortable as well. They're well grounded. I will say that. Um, they're very nurturing in nature. They want to possibly, you know, provide and give um, definite feminine energy here. Uh, the higher font is, um, I'm feeling definitely, uh, masculine. So, <clears throat> you in this knowing state, Libra, and your partner or your person or whoever it is, um, that you, you, you have in mind here for this story, it's feeling very, um, I feel like compassion towards you. You know, wanting uh, your attention, wanting to love on you, wanting to get closer to you. I feel like you, though, are definitely on this um, path of self, more so. You have the Ace of Cups in reverse here. Okay, the Ace of Cups here in reverse between you guys this is the energy sh you share. So what I'm getting from that is that the idea of you guys um, giving into each other, showing each other uh, that you <clears throat> care, um, your emotional, I feel like you're kind of holding back here. You know, like there's a disconnect for some reason emotionally between you two. But I do feel like your person wants to, I'm getting a feeling like they do want to move towards you because they do have very grounded feelings. And maybe they're, they're in a sense of where you're in this spiritual state, they're in this grounded state. Um, not saying that we, we shouldn't be grounded <clears throat> or grounded is a bad thing or spiritual is a bad thing. I just think right now you're just in two conflicting spaces. You know what I mean? Like you're working on self. Okay, not that you don't care about this person, but I'm feeling like, you know, you're more about finding where you're going and what you're doing. And this person is wanting to be with you. This person is wanting to move towards you and care for you and nurture you and provide for you. But <clears throat> you're so busy doing your own thing here and knowing where you're at in your life, in your place, that there's a disconnect between you two. Okay. 
So we're gonna go ahead and clarify. Um, we'll start with it, the higher font, okay? Why is Libra in the higher font energy spirit? Okay, this time let's come out. Why is the higher font here for Libra? The higher font here for Libra. One of my cards, spirits. Thank you. Okay. So I'm seeing it for you, Libra. I'll move these back just a tad. I need a little something for y'all can see. Um, hmm. Let me see. I don't think I have anything that I can lean this on. <laughs> so I do apologize. So you have the higher font here for the glare. Hold on. Let me get rid of this card. You can see this a little bit better. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, can you see it better? Yeah, okay. So with the higher font here, with the three of swords and the six of wands clarify, I feel like, you know, maybe there was a past situation that you're mending, that you're healing, and you're in this process right here as being the higher font. So you're healing your heart, you're healing your emotions, things that you've had to deal with. And you're coming to a point where, you know, you see success, you see celebration um, with the six of wands, you know, just something to feel good about. So I think you're heading in the right direction for yourself. It's just that your person's over here, your person's over here, not, you know, the connection is just not there for some reason I, I don't know why i'm not saying that that's not to say that the connection cannot you know evolve or grow it's just right in this moment of energy where you're at where they're at it's just there's just disconnect between you two so let's clarify the empress and just see what's going on with their energy so you're definitely healing from things of the past perhaps and you're on this road of celebration celebrating yourself feeling good about yourself, gaining confidence, um, you know, I'm just feeling like you're walking proud kind of, kind of thing, and definitely knowing, um, spiritually where you are, where you stand, and how you feel, being aware of those things as well, why is the Empress here for Libra's person, universe, thank you, why is, Le why is Libra's person, why is Libra's person, Stuff. Why is the Empress here for Libra's person? Thank you, universe. Thank you, spirits. Please show me one more shuffle. Okay. All right. The Fool and the Three of Pentacles is what came out to clarify the Empress in your person's energy. So the Fool here, you know, it can signify taking a chance, but it can also signify caution and um, kind of being, you know, a little cautious about what you're doing, where you're going. The Three of Pentacles represents, you know, um, working together, um, making things happen. So, what I feel like for your person, Libra, is they they obviously care for you. Okay, that's they're there. They are grounded in who they are. They're um, very nurturing towards you, wanting to provide for you. And I feel like they're wanting to come together and they're wanting to work with you like a team. They want to collaborate with you. And I feel like for them, they're willing to take that chance with you, okay? They're willing to take the risk and take the chance. But then now I just heard that maybe, maybe some of them aren't. They're wanting to work with you, but maybe some of them... Some of your people, for you guys, for some of you, your person is being more cautious about it. They're not sure if they want to take that risk. Let me get another card. Hold on. Because I'm getting two. They, some of you, your person wants to take a chance and some of them don't. Because I thought that maybe, I was thinking that they were wanting to take the chance and then all of a sudden it just came and was like, no, they're not wanting it. Okay. So we have the Ace of Cups here. So they are. So they are wanting. 
I, but I do feel some of you, your person may not. But they are want willing to take that risk, okay? The Ace of Cups came out. You have the Ace of Cups here in reverse. So they're wanting that connection. They're wanting this to be turned around. And they're willing to take that chance with you, to work with you. Um, so you guys could get that. Even though you're on your you're on your um, journey here, you're on a journey of healing yourself. All right, so <clears throat> give me some clarification, Spirit, on why the Ace of Cups in reverse is here. Why is the Ace of Cups in reverse for Libra? Please clarify why the Ace of Cups is in reverse for Libra. Thank you, Spirits and Universe. I'm feeling like it's a communication thing. It's a communication thing. Like, you guys are only disconnected because you're not communicating like you should. Okay, you're doing your own thing. They're there. They're kind of doing their thing too. But there's no real communication to let each other know, you know, where you stand, how you feel towards each other. It's just kind of like you're going day by day. All right, Spirit, please clarify the Ace of Cups in reverse. Thank you. Two more shuffles. Okay. Yes, you got the Tower and you got the Eight of Swords. So definitely you guys are not communicating. The reason why this is feeling disconnected is because you guys are choosing not to look at um what's really going on between you i think you guys are definitely aware of what's going on but you're not talking about it so libra with with your person they want to come towards you they want to flip that energy around they want to offer you and have that ace of cups but you you guys have you need to come together and talk okay and what i feel like when the tower is coming up if this does not change all right and you guys know no matter what energy surrounds you, we have free will. We can all, energy is fluid. It changes all the time. We have that choice to make things happen. We manifest what we desire. So if you're wanting this to, you see here, they are willing. They are wanting, their energy is stating that they are wanting to fix. They are wanting to have this connection with you. They are wanting to love on you and offer you everything. But you're in this disconnect right now. If you continue in this, it is going to lead to a tower moment. You guys are not communicating. You're not sitting down, talking to each other, and really getting deep with them and saying, look, these are the things that are on my mind. These are the things that I've been thinking of. These are the things that I feel. And communicating it towards each other. If you continue on this path of non-communication and not being on, a tower moment is going to happen. Things are going to be turned upside down. Um who knows okay i feel like there's just going to be an upset and a start over or you know there could be a possible separation there could be you know the disconnect stays and you end up just going your separate ways let's clarify that tower but I feel like you guys need to be talking. Like That's what I said. You guys need to be talking. You're ignoring the discussion that needs to happen between you two to get you guys on the same page. Wonderful, Libra, that you are on this journey. I definitely, I definitely feel like you're, you're feeling good. It's just your person's over here wanting to be with you and they're not being able to communicate with you. And one more card, Spirit, for the Tower. Please clarify the tower. Please clarify why the tower's here. Oh. All right. So in clarification for the tower, we have the ace of swords and the knight of cups. Okay. So we're talking here, you know, major offerings of opening up discussions, opening up communication. Okay. Okay. The Knight of Cups is, is it's, it's an offer as well in some sorts. You know, the Knight is coming in and saying, here, I have that one cup, the Ace of Cups, the one cup here that I'm wanting to give to you. 
and I'm wanting to move towards you with it. I'm wanting to come towards you with it. I'm wanting to, you know, come in with clarity and communication. So I'm feeling like since that was clarified with the tower, that to avoid this moment, to avoid this separation, to avoid this is what is needed, okay? Which is pretty much just saying the same thing that I just said with this card. Don't be blind to not communicating, Cool. That's causing this disconnect. It's going to cause a moment between y'all where things are not going to go so great, I feel like. <clears throat> communication and clarity is key and the offering and coming towards each other is there all right so libra i'm going to give you a little bit of advice from spirit last message to you specifically libra of advice for spirit from spirit what last message of advice do you have for spirit I mean, for, I'm getting so confused today. For Libra, Spirit, thank you, Universe. Thank you, guys. What was the last message of advice you have for Libra in regards to their, them and their person? That's too many. I can tell you that right now. message of advice that you have for a Libra for, in regards to them and their person. I'm definitely seeing a lot of offering though. I'm not going to lie. Even though your energy between you guys is not the offer, it's it's just disconnect for, of some reason, like emotionally disconnected. Um, just because I feel like your guys are in just two playing fields right now, Libra. But once you open the communication and clarify um, things that are going on with you and then, and then, you know, talking to you as well. I definitely feel like things would open up. Okay. Things are going to open up and the offers can come in because I see, you know, the ace is an offer. The ace of cups is an offer. The knight of cups is an offer. So it's there. And this person is willing to take that risk with you They because they want to. So take the time and communicate with them. That's what I feel like. You need to take the time to communicate. One more shuffle. I got one card already out. Oop, crap. Okay. See, that's how it comes up again. All right. So this is the first card. So this is what I'm seeing here for you guys, for your advice. You got the Ten of Swords here, Libra. Okay. You have the Ten of Swords here. What I'm feeling from this card that Spirit is wanting to tell you is it's time to just move on, okay? It's time to move um, move on from this, move on from the idea of not speaking. Does that make any sense? Move on, it's, it's done, okay? It's time to open that communication up. The sun is about to rise, or if you wanna look at it, the sun is about to set and you're running out of time. You need to open up communication. Don't feel like, don't feel like that when you start talking, you're going to get hurt or you're going to, um, or you don't want to say nothing because you're not wanting to hear what they say because maybe you take that as literally like jabs at you, stabs at you as you see this 10 is later. But I'm feeling like spirit saying, don't do that. Okay. Time is running out. The sun is beginning to set here. And if you don't make moves towards it to change, then there could be a potential tower. Okay? Which the tower came out again for you, Libra. So I'm feeling like here it's time to look at things differently with the hangman. It's time to view things differently. Yes, you're on your spiritual journey over here and trying to heal yourself, trying to heal of some sort. Yes, you're knowing and you're in touch with that. But it's time to, you know, let's look at the different perspective of them. Maybe you are so self-involved, which there's nothing wrong with this in your journey. It's just maybe you were so self-involved that you were not able to see it outside of where you were at. And, and I feel like spirit is telling you, change your perspective for a moment. 
okay? See where your person's coming from. Do you see what they're coming from? Do you see how they are? And not live in this possible fear of, you know, not wanting to say because you're trying to avoid, you know, the communication that's needed. Your time is running out here. If you don't do this, this is another warning that a tower moment is going to happen, okay? So, I mean, I would suggest that you just take a moment, meditate on it, of course, and try to open up that communication. Your person really, your person wants to come towards you, okay? Your person wants to come towards you. They want to um, work with you and be with you and, you know, just move through life together or, you know, in whatever connection that you guys have so you can um, build, build something with each other. And they're willing to do that. They're willing to take that chance. I guess the question you would have to ask yourself is, are you willing to uh, do it as well? So I see a lot of love in this, a lot of, you know, compassion towards you, Libra, from this person. I just think you're right now in a certain state of, you know, just kind of doing you, but not being aware that there's a potential, that, that you're potentially affecting how they're moving towards you because they, they really want to. But this is a choice that you make, Libra. So, you know, whatever it is, meditate on it, pray on it, and hopefully you find your answers. Um, I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.